some days are good some days can be really tough i was contemplating whether to post this video but if you are seeing it then the power of the universe has won over my emotions and i felt a sense of compelment to make this video mainly particularly because of the people that watches my videos out of a lot of videos that you could have watched on youtube you decide to tune in to my channel week in week out to watch my videos now i live in europe i live in germany and on my channel i make videos mainly about um, how you can find different opportunities abroad and few videos here and there about life in germany or just how i'm living my life in germany and even if you go through my channel right now you will see that the videos that get the most views are those about working abroad and i can give an example of the video that i made i think two weeks ago if i'm not mistaken and you will see that that video got like literally i will put it here on the screen so that you can check it for yourself it got like a hundred views to be specific now it was about an item that i bought on amazon but nobody cared to to look at that video because it wasn't something that is of interest to my viewers now the reason why i'm saying i felt compelled to make this video is because of what i just mentioned now most people from across the globe are interested in moving abroad um, for different reasons each and every person have their own reason why they want to move abroad but as i provide those information i provide information on where you can find these jobs um, some tips on what you need to do and so forth you can go through the videos yourself to check now we have a lot of expectations when it comes to moving abroad we sort of uh, have these ideas in our mind or we 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 envision a life that gets us out of all our troubles um, we think that if you move abroad all your problems are gonna disappear now that hits very it hits hard because that's not how it is that's not life life can never be perfect and i feel if i don't make this video it's gonna be so disappointing for you to find information on my channel you finally apply for these jobs and you land yourself a job somewhere who knows in europe or wherever you come here and then you it's different from what you envisioned it's it's the it's completely a different idea from what you thought you're gonna have now something happens when that does not meet your expectations it's gonna hit hard on you and now just bear with me because my thoughts are gonna be all over the place in this video because it's very hard to explain to somebody something that this person has never gone through so and trust me this is not a video to discourage you about moving abroad or anything like that the purpose of this video is just to provide some clarity and help you understand that life abroad does not make your problems disappear if you had problems where you were you will still face them when you come abroad even 10 times worse and i'll explain to you why i'm saying that now i've seen a lot of videos especially on tiktok and if you are not following me on tiktok what are you waiting for um my handle is dream with ria is the same as on my youtube channel so follow me on tiktok as well 
but I've seen a lot of video on matters pertaining to not to discourage but just trying to explain why it's hard to live abroad and sometimes in those videos people will be saying don't move abroad because of this and that um, life here is hard no of course life can be hard but it's also rewarding it's a rewarding experience if you move abroad but only if you have a plan on why you are moving abroad now i read comments on those videos and people will be like mm, you just don't want us to move abroad if you are if the life abroad is that bad why are you still there why are you not moving and then you find those ones who are saying she's just trying to discourage you she wants to live um a good life without other people and so forth but yeah it's only a person who really try who who listens to understand will get a message from those videos and they literally just try to create awareness that not everything abroad is perfect and that's sort of the model that this video is based on so we think that you because it's already a struggle right when you have to apply for a job abroad it's draining it's exhausting it's just it's not easy it's not easy even if i make a video telling you this is where you can apply for this job this is where you can um do this and that i make it seem easy of course i make it seem easy like it's just a matter of you going to this website it's a matter of clicking on that apply button off goes your document and the recruiter comes back to you saying that voila here's an interview um you go for that interview and they come back to you you get that email saying you are successfully um hired but that's that's a picture in in our mind it's it's a it's, it's a perfect world so now in reality if we have to come back to reality um it's different because it comes with a lot of struggle honestly because a lot of effort goes into you having to constantly improve on your cv constantly having to send out emails um you are getting rejections and sometimes you just feel like your your work is not noticed by anyone and you feel like you you, you keep sending out um applications into the universe and it's just a waste of time it's quite draining but trust me when i say that <laughs> everyone goes through the same struggle the only difference is that if you don't give up eventually something will come through for you and that's why i'm saying life abroad is not for the faint-hearted it's for those who are determined to put in the work constantly improve themselves and constantly improving on your beliefs constantly improving on your um, self-development to have the courage to go out reinvent yourself and having sort of the awareness that you need to be in a certain mind capacity to know that you just don't apply and expect to get um, the job at that time. Of course, there are people that go through that, that get it. You apply once and you get it. But we are all different. Our journeys are completely different. And that is why you need to have this mindset of um, a fighter, never giving up. You should be self-aware and constantly uh, try to improve yourself. 
Now, why I'm saying the life abroad is not for the faint-hearted is because once, let's assume you apply for the job and you, you get the job, you are on a plane to go to Europe or wherever you get this job. And in your mind, you are like, I've made it in life. And I know the feeling, right? Because um, if, if you don't know, I'm from Namibia. And I know the feeling because I felt the same way. I felt like when I get on that plane, um, I've made it in life. Like, life is good. <laughs> but it, yes, it's a, mild, it's a milestone towards the right direction. And when you come over to Europe or wherever you have to go, that's when the real, the real, the real challenge begins. And I feel like moving abroad is a calling because it's only a few that made it out, a few that have a plan, a few that know what they want that really stick it through and make it because when you come over to to let's say germany or wherever you are going here you find a different challenge you thought you had problems wait until you come over because now you are faced with problems of this country you are faced with let's say I had to, 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 to learn the language you are faced. Maybe if you are moving to a country where they don't require you to know a different language apart from English, um, minus one problem for you. But I had to learn the language, still trying to really polish it up. Not that I know much, but yeah, I'm trying. But yeah, that's the thing. You need to learn the language. There, you face problems with bureaucracy. You are faced with a completely different culture. A culture that is completely different from what you had known. It's like you being this person in your country and you come in, you are plugged into a completely new place that you have to learn their way of doing from scratch. I'm not sure if that sinks in, if there's anybody that is interested in moving abroad. I don't know if that you really understand what I'm trying to say. Let's say your whole life, you was, you were in a place where you used to do things completely different the way people behave is different the way people um, the workplace that you work in you are used to people who are it's just different and then you come to to life abroad you find a different challenge it's not easy it takes a toll on your mental capacity it takes a toll on your mental health and you need to be ready to fight and that's why i'm probably also making this video just to prepare you for this life that you are about to to get into if you are interested in moving abroad <sighs> Yeah, it's, 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 it's not easy. Now, you have to adjust to this culture. You have to um, adjust to the bureaucracy. The, let, just say you learned, when you learned into this country, you need a, a, work, a work permit, you need a resident permit. Just the amount of energy, the amount of paper, the amount of time it takes for you to get those um, documents. You go to these offices, um, 
you don't understand each other quite clearly you feel like you are not heard you feel you are not understood it takes some time there is in the moment you you start facing all of these challenges you start getting homesick you start getting homesick because now you were used to life with your family you were used to life with your friends and you come into this new environment where you feel like you have no one nobody understands you and to make matters worse it's it's good if you really have somebody your family back where you are coming from is supportive and let me just remove this from my screen um if your family is really supportive you they get to talk to you and they really understand that you are moving to a new place you will be having a lot of adjustments and they are trying to be there for you to support you on, you on this new journey but this is not a story for most people most people when you move abroad um it's like somehow there's a disconnect you are completely cut off and uh, and uh, unless you really try to of course you're gonna try to keep up with communication with the people um, from your country but somehow somehow there will be a disconnect because you feel like you are living in two places at the same time and people on the other side life will move on for them life is moving on this side you are here you feel stuck but at the end of the day um at least if you have people that are supportive um that's a bonus for you and maybe just uh one thing that i can advise you on is that try to keep up with the connections um back home because those are the people really when you when you start facing these challenges you need somebody that reminds you of maybe why you moved to to abroad you need somebody that reminds you or you keep seeing things that are familiar you need to 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 be in a familiar uh, space and constantly talking to your people where you are coming from will help you um with those challenges and also try to build a, co a community of where you are um currently like in most countries or let's say all of the countries they, they are community it doesn't matter maybe you are african you are asian you are whatever american there's always a community for every every country um but yeah that's it and um you will be homesick you will get lonely but those are small things when you really um, have the awareness that these things are gonna happen to me and you are prepared to fight and really just try to get through this you you should know that it won't last forever these are challenges every challenge get overcome if you are in the right mindset now um if i have to to give you one advice it's just that just try to to be aware really just um also try to talk to your people where you are coming because when you have these issues you are living abroad you have these issues you feel like uh, the people back home will not understand what you are going through you feel like they cannot relate but just try to probably just explain to them what you are going through maybe it also lessen the burden a bit um, in terms of expectations from them as well because if you have your family um, having a certain expectation here you are you are facing challenges and everything you feel like life is um, crumbling down um, that can also not um, uh, be a good thing when it comes to your mental state but yeah but in general 
like there is no life that doesn't have ups and downs just like you uh, where you are coming from you you had struggles it's the same thing when you come to abroad there are good times there are bad times um there will be an imbalance at, at all times life cannot be smooth all the time otherwise we will all be at the top right now nobody will be here but know the reason why you are moving abroad that's the first thing uh, because if you are just trying to move because everybody else is moving um i doubt you're gonna make it you should have a reason you should have a plan why you are moving abroad you should have a plan when it comes to your personal growth your career growth and just have a plan to develop yourself and constantly uh, reinvent yourself because the environment where you are coming in um, and another challenge um, that I noticed is that especially uh, with myself is that when you are coming from wherever you are coming from you are coming into a new work environment right um, it's like you are starting from zero with not completely zero because the the context of whatever you're gonna do if you are an engineer you are a what a nurse the principles are the same you you will know what to do but each work environment has a different way of how they do certain things how they like their work to be done so they have a certain structure that they expect from their employees and you need to sort of adapt to the new environment you need to completely adapt otherwise it's gonna be difficult for you if you are not able to integrate into the way of how things are done in this country or in the workspace where you are coming into and one thing that we don't understand mainly if we are back home where we are coming from before we move abroad is that you're gonna start at a lower level um we have this expectation that if i move abroad um i will earn this amount of money and so forth but it, it doesn't work like that you're gonna start from the basic because now of course these people know that um, you are a nurse and when I say these people I just mean employers in general um, in abroad they know that you are a nurse they know that you are an IT person or whatever but they need to get to a point where they feel comfortable with the way you do um, the work how they like it to be done therefore you're gonna even your 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 income is not gonna be like crazy you're gonna start from a certain level a lower level until you build yourself until you come to a point where they are comfortable or you have sort of uh, improved and then try to apply for positions that um, are better paid and so you also just have to manage your expectations in terms of um, how life is going to be here or how how much you're going to get paid, how your life will now start all of a sudden uh, blossoming because you feel like you're going to end in euros and things will be cheap. No, they are not cheap. They, there's nothing like cheap. Inflation is everywhere across the, the globe and things are pricey everywhere and remember that we like to convert when we are in our countries we convert to that currency that the country is using forgetting that we're not going to use the money in the country where we are coming from we are coming to use that money in in germany or canada or wherever you are going so you need to understand that the salaries that are being paid out are based on the living conditions or the living standards of the country that you are coming to, to stay. So you can say you are earning 4,000 euros 
now you are big wherever you are you are competing and you're like you what can i not do with this money forgetting that you are not spending this money in namibia you are coming to spend it in europe you are coming to spend it in germany so whatever you're gonna buy whatever accommodation you're gonna get will be based on the standards of europe of germany so let's leave that mindset and just um, try to manage the expectations when we have about life abroad but all in all um, I really just felt compelled to, to make this video because I feel like what is the point of me dishing out information of where you can find these jobs and you find yourself abroad and now you are stuck with all these issues and you don't even know how to go about it if um, you are facing these challenges. Um, of course, when I'm giving out this information, it, it, it sounds exciting, it, 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 it feels good um, and you are like, you just want to apply for these jobs and yeah, get yourself out there um, in specific countries. But there's also downsides to everything. So just try to manage all those expectations as much as you're going to benefit so much. There are a lot of benefits on moving abroad. Life can be quite good, but only if you have a plan of why you are moving abroad and what you want to achieve in terms of personal and career growth and every other growth in your life. But I really, I don't, I don't, um, discourage anybody for from applying for jobs abroad i really feel like it's a life-changing experience and i feel like everybody needs to experience living abroad in some way or another because it opens up your way of thinking it opens up um and you are able to see how life is in the world because Sometimes when we are in our own countries, you are just used to, um, you, you feel like everywhere else in the world, this is how they, they do things. Um, you feel like how you do things in your country, you feel like that's how the rest of the world are living, but we are completely in different worlds, um, doing things in different ways. So it just gives you a certain perspective of how everybody else is living life abroad or living life in their countries and as a person i feel like that's um that's really good to understand um, how others live their lives or how different countries perceive certain things uh, because it, it then helps you whenever you are reasoning you you just don't live in this specific bubble you have a broader perspective on how the world works but all in all um, I really really encourage you to apply for these jobs that I'm posting and never be discouraged try to constantly just improve on whatever don't feel bad if you don't get any response from your the employers or um, wherever you are applying um, it could be just a thing of you if you're not getting any feedback uh, look at your CV again give it to somebody to review and just try to constantly check what you can improve in order to meet the expectations of these hiring managers but I really wish you all the best um, I feel at peace now that I've shared this with you and the good thing to do is really just try to do as much research as possible i mean information is available on youtube it's available on google or we have even on on social media like um, instagram or facebook or whatever tiktok there are certain groups that you can join where people are discussing um, how life is in different countries and just try to gain as much information as much uh, knowledge as possible in order for you to make an informed decision um, when it comes to you wanting to move abroad information is available um, try to make use of it and um, 
so that you don't live a life of regrets. Um, I mean, you can always reach out to anyone who's abroad and just try to find out. It's good to ask. Ask when you have a chance. Ask. Ask. Just ask as much as possible. But other than that, um, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm not sure how it will turn out because my thoughts were all over the place. I hope I added some value to you. But as long as this video um, touches uh, the life of one or two people um, um, I will be happy about that because not everybody gets to have this information and they come abroad and they are completely distorted but if you have any questions uh, please just leave them in the comment section um, I know it, it's quite hard to sort of um, Come up with some questions if you, you you don't even know what to ask but if you do have any questions please just leave them in the comment section um i do try to not even try because i do uh, respond to each and every comment that i get you can even go through my my other uh, videos you will see that i do reply to each and every person um, if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section and if we have uh, people that are watching this video maybe um, that are living in the diaspora you can also just let's come together in the comment section and just give our advice give our um, input when it comes to this um, uh, aspect or topic about expectations of life abroad let's try to learn from each other put all your input all your comments in the comment section let this be a video where we are creating awareness um we don't want to uh, we don't want to not disappoint because you, you can't expect um we, we can't really put this on anybody but let's come together as um people in the diaspora and just try to help those who are still on this journey and give as much information as possible but i'm looking forward to see the comment sections um, because i can also still learn from this uh, there is so much to learn every day we learn something new even for us who are abroad and i'm really looking forward to see the comment section um yeah and thank you so much for watching my videos uh, thank you so much for clicking on this video I'll see you in the next one. Um, I hope to see you around if maybe you are interested in uh, life abroad or you are on a journey of moving abroad. You can hit that subscribe button so that we can all learn together, engage in until you meet your, 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 your final employer where you are able to move abroad. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.